Briefly, the setup that can be built with the protocol consists of a light-emitting diode whose light we collect and collimate within a spheric lens. Two convex lenses in a 4F configuration relay the focal plane of the aspheric lens onto the focal plane of the detection objective of the microscope, where the sample is placed. Irises at the common focal planes of the lenses act as field and aperture diaphragms. The first step of the protocol consists of collimating the LED light source. Mount the aspheric collector lens in an adjustable length lens tube, making sure the rounded face faces away from the LED. Hold it in position with a retaining ring. Attach the adjustable lens tube to the LED mount, making sure the retaining ring is on the lens tube. Then, connect the LED to the power supply and turn it on. Adjust the distance between the collector lens and the LED by rotating the mounts with respect to each other until the least diverging, non-converging beam is achieved. Be sure that the beam doesn't change too much in size at large distances, as shown here. Fix the distance between the LED and the collector lens with the external retaining ring. Mount the LED on a cage plate and insert cage rods in this plate. At this point, you can mount the system on a post and post holder by attaching it to the cage plate for easier manipulation. Next, you want to add the field diaphragm. Insert a cage iris in the cage rods. Close the iris's diaphragm to its minimal aperture. With the help of a photodiode power sensor placed on the other side of the aperture, move the iris to the position of maximum intensity. Alternatively, you can use the instructions in step 7 to place a camera in front of the iris to measure the light intensity, or use a light meter app on your smartphone. Fix the iris in this position using the cage screws. Once the field diaphragm is aligned, insert the first lens. Place the first acromat lens with a 50 mm focal length in a cage plate. Insert the cage plate in the cage rods. Make sure that the rounded face of the lens looks away from the LED light source. While keeping the field diaphragm closed, adjust the distance from the acromat to the iris until a collimated beam is achieved. Fix the position of the lens using the cage screws on the cage plate. Open the field diaphragm to its full aperture. Insert a cage iris after the first spherical lens. Close the second iris, the aperture diaphragm, to its minimal aperture. Similarly to step two, adjust the position of the aperture diaphragm until achieving the maximal intensity on the photodiode power sensor. Fix the iris in position as before. Keep the field diaphragm open and the aperture diaphragm closed. Insert the second acromat lens in the cage plate. As in step three, adjust the lens position until a collimated beam is achieved. This time, the rounded face of the lens should look towards the light source. Fix the position of the lens and cage plate as before. Attach a 12.7 millimeter post to the cage plate containing the condenser lens and mount the assembled condenser on a post holder. Make sure that the height of the illuminator is the same as the microscope. Progressively close the field diaphragm until an image of its edges appear on the camera. The image of the field diaphragm should appear sharp and in focus. Move the illuminator along the optical axis to achieve this and centered. Move the illuminator perpendicularly to the optical axis.
continue centering until the field diaphragm is almost closed. Fix the illumination system into position.